The final team of the week release is upon us, and it looks like we did pretty well in our prediction. Let's jump right in. Good everybody, what's going on? It's your boy Rob, aka Roboto. So the team of the week, 16 and 17, final release of the program for the year is here. Well, 2 p.m. Eastern on Tuesday, it's expected to release, but we got all the information and content that we need to know about for the release coming later today. But before we jump into all that, just want to let you know if you are new here, I appreciate you for stopping by. If you'd be so kind as to hit the subscribe button down below, notification bell right next to you, get notified anytime I'm live for brand new content. Also, if you like what you see, if you like this team of the week release, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, supports the channel very much more than you could know. And in the comment section down below, let me know what you think about this team of the week release or if you're adding any of these guys to your team. There's a couple decent options. Uh, let's jump right in. Just some reminders and updates from the EA team. Number one, weekend league weekly rewards should come out around 2.30 to 3 p.m. after the team of the week content is out. Um, there's some competitive news there. Uh, who cares? Uh, solo battles. So basically, long story short on solo battles is that there was an issue or I guess a little tweak that allowed you to play more than 13 solos battle, solo battles games. Um, and people played like over 100, I guess, 130 or something like that. And it's only recording 13 of your solo battles games. So if you played anything more than 13 games, I mean, cool guess you got some good xp um but besides that you're not gonna get any rewards it's only gonna be from 13 games so keep that in mind there for solo battles um you should there's also an issue that you're able to play more than five games this week so just keep that in mind try to keep your limit to 13 at the most for solo battles on the week so the team of the week drop is upon us here and number one first and foremost go us go team santana moss 95 speed 93 jump, 94 catch, 95 spec, 93 deep route running. This card is nice. Slot archetype gets route tech, I believe, for 2 AP. Gets slot apprentice. Um, has a power up. Jets, Washington football team, theme teams. I'm going to put the, all the theme team chems at the bottom here underneath the players like we've been doing lately. Um, but yeah, this card's nice. It's nice, nice, nice. Santana Moss, not bad at all. We predicted that. So shouts to us or shouts to the crew. Shouts to everybody who believed. Um, so Santana Moss is coming as one of the team of the week heroes. I believe week 16. I think that's the one we got. We, we predicted um, on this channel. Luke Keekly, defensive hero. Um, it, these guys were revealed last night. All the heroes, by the way. 90 speed, 88 zone coverage, 94 hit power, um, 93 excel. If linebackers mattered, this card would probably be hella fun to use. But linebackers, unfortunately, don't matter. Um, I understand if you have linebackers and they work for you, I'm very happy for you. But um, unfortunately, in the grand scheme of the whole Mutt and, and Madden online experience, linebackers don't matter. They don't jump unless they have an animation or lurker on them. So um, this might be fun, though. But you have Sam Mills, right? So Keekly, though, nice to have him back in the game. P Panthers fans, I'm sure, are excited. Um, that's his only team, I believe. Alvin Kamara's getting a plus one. Obviously, week 16 was a huge week for him, so I believe that was in 97. We'll check his power up later. Um, Andrew Van Ginkle, my guy Van Ginkle. We shouted out Van Ginkle in the prediction video, so shouts to him getting an upgrade from his ugly card. AJ Dillon, another guy we predicted that would probably get a card here. Uh, 90 speed there on him on that, what is it, an 88, 86 overall running back? Um, let's see real quick, 88 overall running back, 90 speed. Um, so I'm sure Packers fans are happy about it. Everything else is me there on his stats uh Darius Phillips cornerback from the Bengals I believe he was also on our list 94 speed 77 zone yikes 86 man but 94 speed nice little budget option Jameson Crowder 92 overall slot wide receiver for the Jets Jets getting a little love these last two weeks Cowboys getting some love these last two weeks um for team of the week stuff 92 speed on him um 90 short route running that's the only kind of redeeming factor there I'm sure we'll probably get it up there with deep route running and medium route running so not horrible could be a little bit faster but 92 overall 92 speed randy gregory here um i don't understand um 87 speed is okay but the 88 block shed 75 power move 93 finesse move is solid i guess i don't know i don't know what he what purpose he serves um but cowboys fans like i said earlier are getting blessed here and i think gregory's maybe on our list i don't remember off the top of my head i don't think he was i would have remembered his name i might be wrong though i'm gonna go watch the video after and 
learn that I actually had him guest here. It's gonna break my heart. Now, Michael Gallup. I mean, we, I originally, I had him on there. I said, Michael Gallup, wow, this looks great as a Cowboys wide receiver option. And I was like, yeah, there we go. And then I took him off and I replaced him with somebody else. And I'm kind of regretting that now, man. Michael Gallup should have been the one I went with. I gotta trust my gut more. 94 speed, he was on our list though. Like we had him there. So uh, I guess bonus point, I guess. I don't know. Uh, 94 speed, 94 deep route running, 93 medium route running, 91 short route running, 91 catch, 95 spec catch. This card is nice, but no power up on him. So keep that in mind there. Um, so Cowboys fans though, will be excited to get him on their team. I'm sure he's, it's a pretty nice card. He'll, he'll be, uh, He'll be speedy and, and really impressive on a lot of Cowboys themed teams. So Michael Gallup getting the hero card for this week 16. And the week 16 LTD is Jared Cook. Doesn't have a power up. So another week where we get a guy who doesn't have a power up. If you remember, Cook does have that veterans card that gets all the team chems. But this one is only Titans. So eh, 91 speed though, 92 medium route running. Okay, 94 catch, 97 spec catch. Pretty solid there for a tight end. Not mad at it at all. 70 run blocks a little low, but it is what it is. Here's Alvin Kamara's update. He's going up to a 97 as if he wasn't crazy enough already. He is getting plus one in speed. He is getting plus one in agilities. Um, he's getting plus one for jumping. 96 acceleration. Yeah, this card is going to be nice there. Uh, change the direction up to 95. So yeah, this Alvin Kamara card is going to be insane. So. Week seven, week sixteen though is much deserved. They couldn't give him the player of the week. Obviously, he needed uh, he needed the upgrade though. The plus one is gonna be uh, welcome for Saints fans for sure. This card is nice. This card is very very nice, and it just got a lot better. Uh, Sean Ellis off to week seventeen here. Sean Ellis, speaking of the Jets again, uh, defensive end there. Uh, this guy's way better as a, a defensive tackle, right? Seventy nine speed off the edge is not cutting it nowadays. I mean, if you're below eight, eighty seven you're not probably seeing the field for many teams. So, um, but look at the, the stats there in the middle, right? Block shed 94, power move 90. Finesse move 81 isn't bad for him. I'm sure his weight will probably be up there. Uh, but 79 speed is not cutting it off the edge. So it looks like he'll be a nice DT. You can get him to have DT cams or, or rush DT even potentially. Uh, kind of another version of Warren Sapp. Jamal Charles, a guy we had on our list, but didn't pick. Doubting ourselves, I believe. Um, I believe we didn't pick him. I don't think we did. Um, but I know I shouted him out because we've had him on the list before. So 94 speed on Charles, 95 Excel, 94 Cotton, 93 break tackle, 94 agility, 92 carry. He's going to be hell on theme teams, I believe. Um, he gets Chiefs, Broncos, and Jags chems, I believe. I could be wrong about that. We'll see, though, when the final cut comes out. I'll put the little thing up there. So 95 speed. Uh, I'm sorry, 95 overall, 94 speed. So not a bad card at all. It's going to be hella fun to use for sure. Um, and I'm glad he's in the game. He's honestly one of my favorite players um, when I was growing up. So shouts to Jamal Charles. I might be getting him just to try him out, run him around, see what we got out there. Um, why not? It's fun. It's always fun to try new stuff. Uh, Dean Marlowe was on our list. I believe he was on our list as one of the options. 84 overall strong safety, run support safety, 90 speed on an 84. Not too bad at all. Their coverage stats are atrocious, but could be a fun user. Uh, Brandon Cook's getting a plus one here. So nothing to cry about here for his 84 overall 88 speed. I guess it's cool, but everything else is no, thank you. But Brandon Cooks is getting a plus one there. Um, also getting a plus one or not plus one. I'm sorry. Also getting a card is Troy Hill, 88 overall, 92 speed, 96 Excel, uh, 95 agility, 89 jump. Um, the coverage stats are atrocious. Press is bad. JK Dobbins, 88 overall, 91 speed, 90 Excel, 90 carry, 80 break tackle, 77 trucking, 85 Todd there for him. Uh, Leonard Williams, my guy got to 92. Uh, well deserved. He had a solid season, right? In week 17, I believe he, he had a nice little game too. So. Shots to him there, 84 Excel, 75 speed. Another guy off the edge, a little bit too slow there. Um, potentially he's gonna have to play more DT, but uh, we'll see though. I mean, he'll probably primarily play on my Giants theme team, uh, or maybe we'll replace OC with, no, OC has speed. I don't know, we'll take a look at it. Uh, 91 block shed though, 93 power move, 93 tackle there for Leonard Williams as a 92 overall. So I'm not mad about it at all. Giants get a little boost. Marvin Jones gets a 92 and it also will go into his power up path, but he's not the, Team of the Week hero here, but he is getting an upgrade. 91 speed, 89 deep route running is a little iffy. 91 catch, 95 spec catch is nice though. But that deep route running, you chem that up in this card, eh, it's okay. That speed's a little slower than you'd like. 
Um, but he's a deep threat archetype too. Yeah, he's a little bit too slow there, I think, for me. Uh, kind of played him a little bit. A little underwhelming. Uh, Jonathan Taylor, Team of the Week hero for Week 17. Uh, 95 overall, running back, 94 speed. A lot of backs, a lot of backs, a lot of backs. Him and Jamal Charles in the same drop is interesting. Um, I believe they're both the same archetype too. Um, 94 break tackle, 95 carry, 94 excel, 89 cod, 89 trucking. So he's going to get a little shifty out there. 94 speed ain't half bad. Um, could be a little bit better, maybe. I mean, 95, maybe. 95, 95 speed. I don't know, maybe. But the LTD choice here is interesting because it's Dak Prescott. Uh, week 17 LTD, Dak Prescott here, 96 overall for the Cowboys theme team, improviser archetype. I don't know what exact abilities he'll get. I'd, I'd, I'd have to check. I don't think he gets guns. I don't think he gets, I don't think, I don't know what he gets. I'm, I'm not even gonna say what he gets. I won't even guess it. There's a way that you can check the abilities, obviously, through the power up. We'll see. Um, 88 speed though, 94 throw power. Um, accuracies are all above 90. Short accuracy at 96 there, so could be fun to use. Doesn't look like a bad card there for the Cowboys theme teamers, but he's at LTD um, and 90. You're gonna put, have to put up the 96 in there. I think his best card to this date, to date was like a 90, maybe. I think it was his team of the week card um, because he got hurt early on in the year. So um, Dak Prescott though, get an upgrade here. You could come him up up to his like 95, I believe. And then uh, you could use that card there without using the 96. Here's Brandon Cooks, plus one, 92 overall, 92 speed, 89 catching is a little bit too low um, than what you would like to see. But there he is right there, 89, 90 catching. Um, so he's going to be there for the Rams, Texans, and Patriot theme team, I believe, right? Sounds about right. Um, we'll, we'll put his theme team comes up. Um, I, I think I did it earlier in the video. Marvin Jones here. Going up to, it looks like 87 speed, 91 catching, um, 89 jump there. We already looked at his deep route running. Does it hit threshold? Does it hit the threshold? Does it hit the threshold? It's at 89 deep route running. So I think it goes up to 90 there through uh, power up, I believe. I believe that's what this looks like. Yeah, could be wrong. I'm doubting myself as we look, but I think it's up to 90 when, through the power up. Yeah, it looks like it's up to 90 through the power up. That's what I was looking at there. Um, team of the week, so here are the solos. Um, I'm all over the place today. Team of the week solos here. Remember, you got to play these. It only shows week 17 here in the preview, but they're going to add week 16, I'm assuming, obviously. Um, if you don't have your tokens by now, make sure you go in and play these solos to get those tokens. I believe you need 14. Some people said 12. I don't remember off the top of my head, but I'd say it's safe to uh, be, be, if you're not at 14, if you're not at 12 at least, I don't know. I'm not sure. It, we'll see though. I think, I think it's... I think it's 14. I don't know why, but um, yeah. And here's the exchange sets for week 16. As you see, Santana Moss, Keekly, Michael Gallup, 32, 78 to 82 is to get an 84 to 92. Uh, I don't like how that sounds at all. Um, so Keekly here, you're going to need the defensive team of the week players to get 95 overall. Keekly is power up. Um, so you can go ahead and put all the guys in there and to Keekly set same thing as Santana Moss Michael Gallup though will require a mix of offensive and defensive dudes to get the 16 team of the week hero um or I guess uh player of the week excuse me Sean Ellis here same deal defensive players you're gonna need offensive guys for Jamal Charles and for Jonathan Taylor you're gonna need a mix of the offensive and defensive guys it's a good time to be out there and grabbing team of the week cards maybe not for this week um, but maybe for weeks prior for players that you might have wanted. I know there's a couple guys I have my eyes on right now, um, either for power up purposes or um, just to get them on the team, right? So it's a good time to be perusing the market for stuff you want today. Also remember solo battle rewards should, I don't know when they're gonna come out. Maybe they'll come out today, but weekend league rewards are scheduled to drop today too. So it's always a good time to get out there and grab cards while people are opening packs and getting rid of stuff, all right? So, that's the team of the week drop for week 16 and 17. We'll be back later on with some stuff for team of the year. Now that we have the final team of the week release here and we can make our predictions according to the content we have out at this time. All right. So that's going to do it all for this video. We'll catch you next time. Peace out.